with the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. The video camera is running. Crime, criminals, and the cops who stop them. This is the real thing. We have gathered footage from around the world, from crimes in progress, news investigations, undercover stings and surveillance cameras. Much of this footage has never before been seen, from chases to shootouts. This show will take you for a walk on the wild side. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. This isn't going to be like any show you've ever seen before, because this has never been possible before. I've traveled to police agencies around the world, and thanks to the power of new video technology, what we're going to show you just might protect your life. Video cameras are on the cutting edge of police work, and thanks to that new technology, the nature of crime fighting has changed. Shots fired. Helicopters with infrared cameras that can see at night. I've got something east of your location. Cameras and police cars. Sometimes they're only witness to terrifying deeds. But like any good thing, this technology doesn't come without a price. And because some criminals now carry high-powered assault weapons and they aren't afraid to use them. When a big story breaks, it's almost as dangerous to follow a chase as to be in one. No! Oh, no! Surveillance cameras can make officers vulnerable. But when it comes to putting crooks in jail, all the effort is worth it. This is the evidence that gets the conviction. This amazing video shows you what you need to know. Every person who has ever been swindled, or robbed, or the victim of a crime, thought it would never happen to them. This is what you need to know, because it can happen to any of us, any time. But now we have a friend out there. The camera is running. Suspect in custody. For years, camera-equipped choppers have been catching a bird's-eye view of crime. Okay, well, can you go ahead and call us? These guys are not only above the madness, jockeying for position and keeping up with the action. He is in Mexico. Sometimes, they're also a big part of it. We begin above the clouds in Houston, Texas. Use caution, these suspects are armed. Police and news choppers stay right on top of the action as two petty burglars attempt to outrun the cops. He's cutting through the intersection into the far left. Oh, he just took a hit. He just took a hit. One suspect thinks he can escape, but with the cops approaching from both directions, the only way to go is down. Looks like he's holding on to the railing. He is holding on to the railing. The suspect is about to lose his grip. Oh, he dropped! He dropped! The suspect dropped from the railing. He tumbles three stories, just missing the concrete. He's up and running. He's up and running. Despite having the wind knocked out of him, he sees his chance and goes for he's it. He's headed for the woods on the far side. No officers in sight here. He thinks he's home free, but the eye in the sky stays on his tail and there's nowhere to hide. The police chopper drops in out of the blue and intimidates the suspect into submission. He's, uh, okay, he stopped running. The police are right on top of him. He's surrendering to the helicopter. This suspect just found out when the long blades of the law are after you. Oh, he dropped! Running away is not an option. Police sirens suddenly tear through the quiet afternoon commute in Oceanside, California. The CHP unit there in chase, and this is the car that he's after. A news chopper joins a chase started by a drunk driver who refuses to stop. On the westbound 78 here. The chopper easily keeps up with the driver who's gunning the gas at a whopping 120 miles an hour. Officers want nothing more than to end this chase now. But if the cops can't stop him, a traffic jam will. An officer moves in cautiously. There we see the CHP units. Okay, they're telling him to stop. The chopper hovers over the action while the officer tries to negotiate with the driver. Now he doesn't want to stop. There's no bargaining. You didn't see any weapons drawn there, just a highway patrolman saying, step out, let's talk about this. They have given this guy a chance just to surrender. The suspect heads for the surface streets. He careens towards an intersection at 70 miles an hour. And then the inevitable happens. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. This is terrible. This chase has just ended. 
Um, boy, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. Oh man, what a what a horrific crash! Despite the wreckage, they must approach the scene cautiously. This terrible situation is exactly what police officers try their best to avoid. The officers now work twice as hard, apprehending the suspect and rescuing the victims. It looks like the driver of the truck is out. He's okay. I, ha I personally haven't seen anybody come out of the, the Nissan 200 there. They're helping somebody out of the Jeep, the white Jeep right here at the top of your screen. Incredibly, everyone survives the crash. The suspect is confined to a respirator for weeks thereafter, a victim of his own deadly cocktail of drinking and driving. Evidence used in court? You bet. These high-tech choppers are an integral part of every pursuit, helping cops with evidence and helping us bring you the stories. Riots. Lawless mobs can leave even police feeling vulnerable. And although cameras can put faces on these crazed acts of violence, it's never easy. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Police respond to a shooting call in this suburban neighborhood. An angry crowd is gathered. A young boy, and it's not clear why, is suddenly attacked. He gets away, slightly injured and very shaken. These two detectives, who actually came to investigate the shooting, are now the target. Not everyone in the crowd is out of control. In fact, only an irate few seem to capture the camera's attention. Watch in slow motion. The man in the purple shirt tries to protect the cops. But watch the man in orange. He lands a right jab. As we take another look, you'll see the same man in the orange shirt take a leaping charge at the cop. He lands a blow and is still throwing punches. More cops move in. Still more are called. For a moment, police seem to have the upper hand, so they retreat. As they do, the lawless few go after a reporter and TV cameraman. The cameraman gets knocked to the ground. Here's what the scene looked like through the eyes of the terrified photographer. Watch what happens to the reporter in the blue dress. The photographer can barely stand. He gets knocked to the ground again. The final insult, his wallet is stolen. The cameraman suffers a concussion. The reporter who gets punched in the face ends up with a broken nose. A dash cam is a great partner and it makes a super witness in court. It never exaggerates and like an elephant, it never forgets. South Carolina, a pickup out of control, and this truck is flying. The chase quickly gets to high speed, down city streets, side streets, dusty roads, and country lanes. But when the trooper turns the next corner, he's in for a surprise. The truck is headed straight for him. The truck rams the patrol car and takes off in the other direction. But less than a mile away, the officer is able to catch up a second time when the truck slams into a motorist and another police car. But when they try to stop the truck, it roars off again, crashing once more into the patrol car. Hey, 33 Edward 14, he's done hit me head on. You want me to go ahead and try to get him straight? That can't kill someone. Determined to stop this before someone was killed, the officer continued to give chase as the truck wildly veered from one side of the road to the other. At this point, the officer realizes the truck is taking a shortcut to the freeway. And if this person gets on the freeway, there's going to be trouble. The truck tries to speed up one more time. It goes off the road, loses control, and hits the officer. This car is totaled, but the camera keeps rolling. This driver is going away for a long time. He was lucky. For some suspects, dash cam footage becomes nothing more than a tragic memorial. Coming up on world's wildest police video. Undercover cops get robbed at gunpoint. A bank robber loses his loot. And courageous clerks fight back. The stories are incredible. 
The action is amazing. The video, the world's wildest. The ones who rob. The ones who riot. The ones who run. All recorded. It's real. By the ones who risk everything. The GNC vehicle gets smashed there. I was a narcotic officer for 15 years, and it's by far the most unpredictable job in the business. You never know what you're going to be up against. And if you're not on your toes, you could lose your job. Or worse. Oh, that's, that's a small one. That's all right. Oh, come on. Is it? Yeah, that, that's good. Check it out. Drug dealing runs rampant in this South Florida housing project. You got the police? No, we need the police. The trolls back over that way, though, man. Right there. Somebody is running the show, and these two undercover narcotic cops want to know who. It's real. But before they can knock down the kingpin, they have to gain the trust of the low-level dealers. It's a good man, good man. Save the day. But the off-camera female cop in the passenger seat is about to have trouble with her cover. Me too, man. I got 120. 120? In seconds, he recognizes her. Man, hey, girl. Now, I know what time it is, right? See you later. Right. He attempts a quick disguise, as if that helps. Don't matter to me. Give me another. But the cops aren't interested in busting him. They're looking for the ringleader. I'm trying to support my family. Okay, man. To keep their cover on the street, the cops let this one go. A few days later, same projects, same two cops. This time, the stakes are a lot higher. Two gangbangers check them out. Ain't nobody gonna take this hot right here. You gotta fix the money first. Money, right. A local dealer gets down to business. You see the money. Suddenly, the dealer has a change of plans. He pulls a weapon. This is a cop's worst nightmare. There's no arguing with the barrel of a gun. They give up the cash and step on it. Nervous laughter cuts the silence. Here's one gunman who isn't going to get away. He faces armed robbery with the evidence of his crime on tape. This team can afford to have the last laugh because an hour later, they're coming back in uniform and everybody's going to jail. The biggest mistake that I can make as a cop is to look at a wounded criminal like a harmless criminal because like a wild animal, that can be when they're most dangerous. Orlando, Florida. A car is pulled over for tailgating. Walk back to me with your driver's license. Something isn't quite right. The man's body language makes the cop suspicious. Do me a favor, keep your hands out of your pockets for me. The driver instinctively puts his hands on the hood, the mark of an experienced felon. The officer poses what appear to be routine questions. Where you headed to? What's going on up there? Well, it ain't not really that for the summer now. But these aren't just questions. They're a cleverly hidden trap. Who's in the car with you? My brother. That's my brother. Your brother? Been going up there with you, huh? Dispatch says the car is registered to someone named Maria. Now the trooper is thinking stolen car. Who, who's Maria? Maria Felder. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right. Huh? That's mom. Maria Felder. That's my mom. Your mama? Yeah. Or yours? His mom. His mom? Yeah. You're related? Your cousins? I thought you were brothers. We have, we have brothers. Well, which is it? Your brothers or your cousins? The trap is sprung. The officer sniffed out a rat. And the narcotics dog sniffs out some cocaine. The narcotics detection dog. He's loaded on the car for the order of illegal narcotics. That does give us the right to search, and we are going to search that. But the driver refuses to be taken into custody. The driver dives to the floor, grabs something under the seat, thinking it may be a gun. Officers have to defend themselves. I shot him! A bullet hits the driver's jaw, but he keeps going, betting his life against the next 25 years in prison. Pursuing officers quickly reach speeds over 100 miles an hour, even on the grassy median. The suspect continues despite his excruciating pain. He throws some packages out the window. Okay, you continue the pursuit. I'll find the package. For almost an hour, the driver keeps police at bay. But as he loses blood, he loses control. Oh, boy, there he goes. The driver gets thrown to the ceiling. Broken glass flies in his face. The roof disintegrates. Finally, the car comes to a stop. 
after two city blocks. No one is injured except the driver, who is battered but alive. Bags of cocaine are retrieved from the roadside. The decision to run got this felon a bullet in the chin. I shot him! And the most painful ride of his life. Now he'll get to answer a few more questions, this time before a jury. Convenience stores. It's a dangerous job for anyone, but especially for a woman working alone. In this vicious robbery, the man doesn't seem to be armed or dangerous. Watch his hands. Even something as innocent as a cup of coffee can become a scalding hot weapon. These robbers want the money. They're going in brazen right off the street. Um, they'll use anything from a cup of coffee to a firearm. Because of this tape, that cup of coffee costs this man his freedom. The best advice that I can give anyone is to cooperate. Give them what they want. In this convenience store, the clerk talks casually with the customer. The customer's friend stands out of the camera's view to the right. She has no idea that her job is about to take a life-threatening turn. Watch how quickly the man's disposition changes from innocent customer to deadly robber. The shot misses this terrified clerk by inches. The bullet comes so close to the clerk's head, it actually blows her hair. The two robbers quickly ask the clerk to open the safe. This robber has an itchy trigger finger. It's essential that the woman stay calm and follow every command. The woman gives the robber money from an open register. The two gun-toting thieves head for the door. Her ability to stay calm was a quiet act of heroism that saved her life. The two women you're about to see refuse to be just another statistic. It's the night shift in a liquor store. A known ex-convict walks in demanding money and merchandise. He seems to be concealing a weapon in his jacket. One clerk manages to sneak up behind the robber with a weapon of her own, a bottle of Canadian whiskey. The second woman strikes him across the forehead with a bottle of Thunderbird wine. Disoriented, the man reveals his weapon, a plastic hair comb. But unless he plans to groom them to death, this man is in trouble. These women are determined to catch a thief. Armed with 100 proof each, they take off after the robber. Each robbery is unique. Sometimes your safest bet is to lie low and follow every command. Other times, taking a risk can save your life. For women working in one of America's most dangerous professions, an ability to think on your feet is a life-saving skill. Southern California, bank robbery capital of the world. Although video cameras have certainly made it tougher for the thieves, it doesn't slow them down. But stealing the money is only half the battle. The other half is getting away with it. Los Angeles, this two-time suspected bank robber is at it again. And with these speeds, he doesn't plan on getting caught. He tries to dodge police on surface streets, slicing across intersections and barreling past traffic. Going over the curb, across the grass, right into the intersection. She's not far down for cross traffic. He's been driving hard, fast, and furious for over an hour. He plays a deadly game of chance and almost loses. The big rig clips him, pushing the car over the curb. If the impact were any stronger, this chase would be over. Watch a man's determination literally drive him to extremes. It's an explosion of rubber and metal as chunks of tire fly off the car. But it isn't over. The 42-year-old thief makes one last ditch fight for freedom. He's back on the freeway. But his front wheel is about to become history. Oh, he just lost his front wheel. He's about to Despite flying sparks and scraping metal, the suspect maintains his speed. Something's got to give. Moments later, we see it's the car. Clutching a bundle of bills, the suspect sprints across four lanes of oncoming traffic. Hey, Buffy, call you in. Be advised, wait, wait, put printed on the freeway. Going to that French mail. Uh, he has something in his hand. The fall knocks the wind out of him and the cash from his hand. Looks like he dropped the money. He's picking it up. Greed knows no bounds. He'd rather pick up the money than pick up the pace. Stuck on this side of the freeway. There's a unit just north of him. Right now, he just, he's climbing that fence. Now the cops can play catch-up. The fence is topped with razor-sharp wire, but the pain is too intense. He stumbles right into police. Lose the loot and lose your freedom. One less bank robber on the streets, now serving 20 years in a federal pen. Next, 
on world's wildest police videos. Crazed hockey fans meet the riot police. Motorcycle madmen almost meet their maker. And an irresistible force meets an immovable object. Stop resisting us, sir. When worlds collide and good meets bad, you will be there. Man against man. Man against cop. Cop against cop. Get on the ground now. Electrifying. But they're nothing compared to man against nature. Severe weather. At best, it's annoying. At worst, it's terrifying. Cops have seen every kind of accident under the sun. But it's the harsh and unusual weather conditions that cause the real problems. In Arizona, wind whips up a wall of dust that smothers the highway. Visibility, zero. Cars that don't immediately pull over become scrap metal in a multiple car pileup. When the dust settles, 22 vehicles are headed for the junkyard. In Chicago, a fresh rain mixes with oils on the street. Braking distance is tripled. This impatient driver is lucky to be alive. But fog is the most underestimated hazard. Driving blind can cost you much more than a speeding ticket. Yet people continue to push their luck. In Birmingham, England, this is the wreckage that cleanup crews are left to sift through. It's a simple lesson. When Mother Nature hits the roads, all of us had better give way. What you're about to see is controversial. It's a confrontation between two men who also happen to be police officers. Each one thinks he's in the right, and the other person is breaking the law. Orange County, Florida. A hot, humid night. The man in this pulled over pickup approaches a deputy squad car. The deputy doesn't realize it yet, but the man is a fellow police officer from neighboring Dade County. You're about to witness an incredible clash of wills. That will be the law. A major with 27 years experience, he feels he's being harassed by the younger corporal. Hey, sir, do you have a gun on you, sir? Yeah, I got a gun on me. Where's it at? Where's it? Let me see your ID. The corporal begins writing a ticket for a minor license plate infraction and a moving violation. What violation? Say the signal lane change and you're a liar. You are a liar. Man. I gave a signal, I gave a left hand. Give me my license. You ain't giving me no ticket. In a flash of anger and frustration, he snatches his license from the deputy's clipboard. The deputy sends for a supervisor. Got a watch commander up this way, please. It's now a standoff. Give your hand away from your gun. Off screen, backup has arrived, but still no supervisor. You bet not. Hey, turn around, put your hands on top your head right now. He's a deputy, he's armed with a gun. They threaten to spray him. You're going to be sprayed with pepper mace in about a second. You don't cooperate. You need to cooperate now. You're making this harder than it's going to be. From just off screen, another officer approaches Campbell. Hey, hey! Give us a clear check. He's got a gun. Neither side is budging, hey, but something's got to give. Put your hands Stop up. resisting us, sir! Stop resisting now. us! They spray him several times, directly in the face. Amazingly, he is able to walk away. An officer jumps on him, but he's thrown right off. Don't do that! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! The struggle spills into the freeway as Major Campbell continues to retreat. He starts to run. We're in foot pursuit. He's 1037, signal zero with a gun. <laughs> Finally overcome, Campbell is brought back minutes later in handcuffs. Well, now you're under arrest, sir. Major Campbell is charged with battery and resisting arrest with violence. He's currently suspended without pay while awaiting trial. The video shows what happened. I didn't attack anybody. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I wasn't resisting arrest of violence. I sat down on the guardrail, and that's when I was attacked by them. It's, hey! it, it's clearly shown on the video. If the supervisor had responded and says, you're going to get the ticket anyway, that would have been it. I would have taken the ticket. But when he takes me out of the car at the jail, he says, uh, oh, well, we're charging you with battery on the police officer. I said, battery on the police officer? I said, who did I hit? My advice to uh, any citizen who is confronted with this kind of a situation is not to do what I did. Don't use my uh, situation as an example of what you should do. I would not recommend 
getting into a confrontation with a police officer like that. One thing all cops understand, you always have respect for the badge. Motorcycle riders, wild at heart. Why do so many bikers risk their lives further by running from police? But police are not alone in this battle. This homegrown speed merchant races ahead of the pursuing officer, flying down lonely country roads. And when he still can't lose them, Get out. Get on the he ditches his bike. Then he decides to fight it out. The suspect throws the cop aside as other squad cars rush in. The cop tackles him again. The biker still won't give up, and he flips the officer again. But now he's outnumbered. Once in custody, he admits why he was running. I'll tell you right now, honestly, uh -huh. that there is a bit of marijuana in that bag out there. For $50 worth of dope, he bought a trip to jail. Los Angeles. At the end of this high-speed pursuit, a crowd of outraged citizens rush out to cut this biker off. No problem. He'll just get a running start and blow right through them. But now he can't stop. The pedestrians converge. His running days are over. Two wheels may offer freedom. But freedom never comes without a price. Riots. They're terrifying, even deadly. Such unbridled savagery and violence is usually motivated by political agendas, racial inequality, or even sports rivalries. Vancouver, British Columbia. They're drunk. They're angry. And they're on a rampage. Their Canucks hockey team has just lost the Stanley Cup. We're just outside the arena, but millions of miles from sanity. Two men decide to walk an electrical wire. One man falls a hundred feet to the street below. It's a miracle he survives. An ambulance creeps through the hostile mob. The crowd makes it almost impossible. Police say this was the turning point of the evening. The potential is always there in any situation to turn into a riot. And you have to be prepared to restore that order and hopefully not get anybody hurt. Backup riot police do arrive with one thing in mind, regaining control. They fire tear gas and rubber bullets into the crowd. The violence doesn't stop. It simply moves up the street as looting takes hold. A few young people are fed up with the lawlessness. This they... is bull... Yeah. This is my own store. Look what they are doing. This is disgrace to Vancouver. Dozens of police cars are trashed and turned as more scenes like this play out into the wee hours of the morning. Innocent residents find themselves trapped downtown, in the wrong place, at the wrong time. If I don't drive, how can I, how can I leave now? Hey, if you can get out of here with your flat in one piece, I'll, oh you know, you're God. lucky. Finally, at 4 o'clock in the morning, Vancouver is peaceful. The streets are a mess. The damage is in the millions. Hundreds of people are injured and the emotional toll is insurmountable. It's hard to believe. All this for a hockey game. Coming up on world's wildest police videos. Hold it right there, buddy. The dangers cops face. Hold the ground, hold the when bus drivers go ballistic and big rigs go berserk. Man, will the pursuit stop? Some of the world's biggest vehicles. Driven by the world's biggest losers. So stand back. Give these guys some room, because they're coming fast. And they're coming straight at you. There's a vehicle there, there's a vehicle there. Duty. Buddy. On duty. Hold the ground, down. Heavy duty. He's hitting the highway patrol units like toys. Unstoppable cops. On the job. Get on the ground. 
In the movies, the crooks make it look so easy. A smooth cat burglar steals the loot without ever drawing attention to himself. The criminals you're about to see prove that life does not imitate art. The woman behind the counter is monitored by not one, but two cameras. She's about to be robbed. A crook comes in, sees a TV camera, and calmly puts gum on the lens. The thief proceeds to rob the store. Smart move. Except he put the gum on the wrong camera. Ashland, Ohio. A robbery in progress. The guy on the right is the thief and he's in a rush. No time to waste. He quickly steps up to the counter and threatens the clerk with a knife. Lock the door. Lock what door? Lock that door. If he wasn't in such a hurry to get the door shut, he might have noticed the guy next to him. The guy drinking the cup of coffee is a cop. The uniform and the gun might have tipped him off. You hold it right there, buddy. Put that knife down. Lay down on the ground. Get on the ground. The store's security cameras switch back and forth to catch both angles. But the crook doesn't give up. Now he claims he's innocent. With that knife over there, man, you tell me to lock the doors, you tell me to get back there. The terrified clerk thinks he's going to have a heart attack, but manages to call 911. Just lay there and keep your hands where I can see them, you understand? Don't you get up so you don't end up no mistake. The clerk realizes that giving the cop a free cup of coffee was the best investment he ever made. I'm glad you was here, man. This is no big deal to the cop. I can't go no place without something like this going on, you know? Finally, backup arrives and the cop calmly goes back to his coffee. You got cups on you, huh? Buying a brewski with a knife. <laughs> Just an ordinary day for this police officer. A very lucky day for this clerk. Not such a good day for the crook. Right there, buddy. These certainly aren't the smoothest bunch of thieves around. Or the smartest. For officers, every pursuit is scary. But those involving buses and big rigs are absolutely terrifying. After all, how do you stop a 25-ton vehicle going 100 miles an hour? Phoenix, Arizona. A man in a stolen white semi terrorizes a quiet suburb. When traffic gets in the way, he makes his own road. He's just blowing through those red lights. There, he's just crashed. He's just crashed. His transmission failing, the driver is quickly pulled from the cab by fast-acting officers. Okay, there he is. Baltimore, Maryland. Heat-sensitive radar illuminates this nighttime pursuit of a bus. The massive vehicle dwarfs the surrounding squad cars. The driver suddenly loses control. Okay, okay, he's, he just lost it there. He crashes into a guardrail. Canine units are brought in. The disoriented driver gladly surrenders. Crooks think that they're invincible. Might be because of drugs, might be because of alcohol, but they think they can get away. And it's that kind of attitude that makes them so dangerous. Buffalo, New York. A 550 horsepower Kenworth hurtles down the highway at 100 miles an hour. Straight on a collision course with a crowded tollway. Police realize that a roadblock would be useless. All they can do is try and clear the tollway in time. And here he comes. Moments later, he plunges off a boat launch, right into this lake. Tonight, everybody was very, very lucky. But in Brea, California, officers and civilians are not quite as fortunate when the driver of this truck snaps and goes on a rampage of destruction. Uh, oh, there's a vehicle there, there's a vehicle there! Oh, and he smashes right to the rear of that vehicle. And he's doing another U-turn, another U-turn. This vehicle, uh, this truck... Oh, they're going to cut him off right there. There, the CHP vehicle gets smashed there. An officer tries to force the driver over, but he's no match for 15 tons of momentum. The only thing this truck can't roll over is a tree. They're pulling him out of the vehicle at this time, on the ground. This, this is a code four. When Mother Nature, or driver air, doesn't end a chase, it's up to the cops. So how do they do it? In a chase, a car's Achilles heel is its tires. If we can take out the tires, we take away speed. That's why we use spike strips. San Diego. A spike strip is laid down for a man on a four-day drug binge who's commandeered a city bus. He actually seems to be enjoying himself as he rolls right over the spikes. The crowd cheers as air quickly escapes from his tires. Moments later, he was in custody. Tyler, Texas. A maniac in a 45,000-pound big rig careens down the highway. 
Officers can't lay down spike strips in time, so they use the next best thing. Their shotguns. Risking his life, this officer manages to get off round after round. Almost getting swept from the road in the process. The truck misses only by inches. This guy's trying to kill me! Several tires are shredded instantly. Ten-pound chunks of hot rubber fly at the officer's windshield. This Goliath is mortally wounded. No tires, no go. But what if nothing works? Good officers always rely on their training, but the best officers know they have to be ready for anything, at any time. Stopping the unstoppable. An officer's job has never been more dangerous or more necessary. Next on World's Wildest Police Video, a Georgia patrolman fights for his life. One lucky officer cheats death. And a Texas trooper dodges a bullet. Top cops learn how to defend themselves. Because if a suspect will do this to an officer, no one is safe. You just gotta be there for the fight. I'm not gonna let you go back to that vehicle. Sucker punch. Ambushed. Waylaid. Courageous officers fight back. Every day a cop puts his life on the line. He often has to defend himself against an onslaught of fists, knives, and guns. Because of this unavoidable reality, every cop on the street must be ready to fight back or face the deadly consequences. Some suspects refuse to cooperate, thinking the answer lies in the throw of a punch or the barrel of a gun. Although the cops train for every possible situation, sometimes they're taken by surprise. Tony Blauer, officer survival training expert. Helps cops master situations before they get out of hand. People underestimate how difficult it is to be a police officer and do your job effectively, consistently. Loxley, Alabama. Investigator Rex Bishop suspects this man is drunk and wants him off the road. I understand that, Mr. Pouncey, but I placed you under arrest, and for my safety, I'm not going to let you go back to that vehicle. The man's children beg him to stop. A passing motorist and his girlfriend see the beating and pull over. Come on, help me. Stop it, David, and go! The motorist jumps on the drunk, hitting him on the head with a flashlight. At that time, I didn't know why he rolled off, but I was just glad that he did. And I took advantage of it to get on top of it. Bishop's jaw was broken in two places. Still, he managed to remain the consummate professional. Anger is, is not going to help my case. It's not going to solve any problems. It's not going to change anything that has happened. <laughs> In that first incident where the officer got sucker punched, had he bladed, maintained a distance, and had his hands up, when that punch came in, he'd have flinched and jammed it. As I flinch, I move in on the guy. What this does is it gets him off balance. I can follow that up with a knee. I can hit the guy with a brachial stun. I can pull him into a knee. I can drop him to the ground and transition to a weapon. Dodging fists is one thing, but dodging bullets requires a whole other strategy. St. Anthony, Idaho. State Trooper Gonzalez pulls over this Jeep for reckless driving. He has no idea the driver lies in wait with a gun he intends to use. Gonzalez acts fast and returns the fire. Fortunately, he wears a bulletproof vest, saving his life. Watch how quickly it all goes down. The trooper approaches the Jeep, and before he says hello, two bullets are fired into the trooper's vest. Gonzalez shoots back. Presume people will not comply. Don't presume they will comply. Action is faster than reaction. When there's more than one suspect, the danger grows, and it can be deadly. Refugio, Texas. Officer Andy Lopez pulls this car over because of a broken headlight. On inspection, he discovers there's not a driver's license in the bunch. He orders them to pop the trunk and is immediately struck by the pungent odor of over 55 pounds of pot. The situation turns critical when one of the suspects pulls a gun. Lopez is hit. Wounded, he runs and radios for help. The suspect is wounded, but still fighting back. The other two were caught later that night. There's one thing that's never changed in this job. As long as there's police officers, there'll be people who want to fight with them. You just have to be ready. Sometimes, no matter what you do, there's no way an officer can avoid being drawn into a shootout. Spring Hill, Florida. 
An armed and dangerous man tries to outrun police after threatening them with a rifle. The police don't know how crazy the man is and decide to play it safe. But the gunman doesn't want cops getting too close. The suspect almost loses control of the car, but he manages to stay ahead of the police and he starts firing. Suddenly, the gunman swerves out of control and careens into a stop shot. Now the real fight is on, and there's no holds barred. The gunman jerks his car into reverse. Before the suspect can fire again, the SWAT officer in the back seat returns fire. With their guns still drawn, officers know it isn't over till the suspect is in custody. Now there's just one less maniac terrorizing the streets. And cops must always expect the unexpected. It's crucial they stay one step ahead of the enemy and always be ready for anything. Coming up next on World's Wildest Police Videos, tragedy in the heartland when a man and woman won't stop for anything. The video you're about to see is shocking. It's meant as a warning because there are still people out there who just don't get it. Whenever you run from the law, you risk everything. This truck is speeding at over 70 miles per hour, uphill through a four-way stop and continuing on the wrong side of the road. The teenage boy and girl in this pickup aren't stopping for anything. In the back of the truck, a stolen lawnmower tractor, 500 extra pounds of momentum. They race down this hill, blow right through a stop sign, and careen onto the wrong side of the road. Up ahead, a squad car blocks their way. Pull the vehicle over now. But they're not listening. They're not stopping for anything. They approach an intersection. The light is red. They go for it. What the camera sees can happen in a flash. It can be terrifying, and it can never be undone. The awesome responsibility of law enforcement. He's surrendering to the helicopter. Every day, in every culture across the world, police create a thin line, a line protecting good from bad, capturing the criminals who threaten our lives and often maintaining the only hope of order against the threat of chaos. Next week, we will bring you even more amazing video, carjacked on national TV. The stupidest criminals in the world and the most terrifying police shootout ever. In the future, you will experience video never before seen, astonishing examples of the horror and hopelessness of crime and the ultimate triumph of law enforcement. Because whenever crime is exposed, justice can prevail. And whenever police video is there to capture it, we will be here to bring it to you every week. The best, the scariest, the world's wildest.